Hey guys, in this episode, we're gonna be talking about hernia support belts. Let's get started. Okay, so hernia belts are very different from a traditional support belt. Support belts or support bands or uh, ostomy wraps, those tend to support your appliance, but hernia belts are meant to support the skin around your stoma. And the reason for that is because for someone who has, or someone who's at a high risk of developing a hernia, uh, they need extra support there just so that, that hernia doesn't break through. Okay, so what exactly is a hernia? Now in layman's term, a hernia is when part of your insides ends up breaking the cavity wall or the muscle that's supposed to be holding it in place. So for most ostomates, that tends to be a part of the gut that happens to break through the abdominal muscle wall. And that can result in large bulges around your abdomen. Uh, sometimes it's, it creates issues with your appliance fitting, uh, definitely creates issues with um, wearing clothing and things like that. So it's really important to prevent these if you can. And that's where a hernia support belt comes in handy. Now, if you've already had a hernia, then support belts help to keep that hernia uh, tighter so that it's easier to manage and again it prevents it from expanding even further. Now it's really key, important to keep in mind that unlike with regular support bands, hernia belts tend to require the assistance of a stoma nurse. Oftentimes you have to get them measured in a specific way, it has to fit exactly um, around your stoma and it has to be designed just for your body shape. Uh, you can't really grab one of these off the shelf and expect it to work properly. And uh, there are certain things that a stoma nurse would have to look at. So make sure that if you do, uh, if you're told that you need a stoma or hernia belt, either by your surgeon or by your stoma nurse, make sure that you do talk to that stoma nurse about getting a proper fitting for these belts. Now, for the most part, hernia support bands and hernia support belts are covered by insurance. But if your insurance company is like mine, they'll probably want to get some kind of prescription from your doctor or surgeon or something like that. So make sure you have that handy just in case. Now, unfortunately, if you're having to pay for a hernia belt out of pocket, these two, these do tend to run pretty expensive. I know here in Canada, uh, when I was looking at hernia support belts just out of interest, a lot of them were, were like over $100. And uh, that's a pretty big uh, chunk of money if you don't have that you know, readily available or your insurance isn't covering that. So I'd like to hear more about whether or not you guys have worn a hernia support band or if your doctors told you that you need one. Keep in mind that not everybody requires one of these. For a lot of us, if you're just going about your business and you're in pretty good shape and you're relatively young and healthy, there's really no need to have a support garment or a hernia support belt like this. But if you're at a high risk category, and that includes someone who is a little bit older, perhaps you might be overweight, perhaps you might be doing a lot of strenuous lifting, including a lot of um, sports and bodybuilding type exercises, that puts you at a higher risk for a stoma belt. So that's when you really need to talk to your doctor if they already haven't brought that up with you. So thanks a lot for watching guys. I'll have more videos coming up in the near future. Stay tuned. Bye-bye.